What's up, weirdos? Shabbat Resurgent here in the deserts of California with Brandon by Castle, and today is a good day for adventure rolling out on these bikes, not knowing what we will find. As we burst forth into the unknown, we're joined by my loyal compatriots, our brothers and sisters in arms, wanting only one thing, whatever lies next. We'll all go to our graves sharing a common cause, having a commonality among us. We'll all die wanting one more, baby. So let's see what's over that mountain. Oh my gosh. Those mountains, Brandon. We're going to find out what's on the other side, baby. Over the hills and far away, man. Listen up, baby. I'll be I'll be Gandalf if you'll be my Frodo. That's just a who Samwise. <laughs> no, Spite, that makes you Gimli. You just got to lose a couple feet. All right, we're all picking our Lord of the Rings characters. I'm Gandalf. Brandon Prick Frodo. I assigned Gimli to Spite. <laughs> Nice. How excited are you? This is freaking dope. We're going on an adventure. That makes you Arwen. My man. All right. Let's do it to it, baby. We want adventure. We crave it. We need it. All right. I'm trying to claim Gandalf, but uh, I smell more like Radagast, if I'm being honest here. Man, I've been looking at those mountains the entire time I've been here, wondering what's on the other side. And I might have even driven on the other side of it, so I probably already know what's on the other side. But you know what I mean. I've just been looking at them going like, man, I've got this adventure bike. All I want is to ride over that mountain. And that's what we're going to do, baby. So <laughs> let's put it to the test. I don't know when I'll stop being excited about everything. I hope the day never comes. <laughs> I have not even gotten close yet. The mountains are getting closer, baby. <laughs> what once was the horizon is now our reality. Oh, I see nothing but trails going up over there. <laughs> People trying different lines up them uh, hill climbs over there. Something tells me we're not going to be attempting something that's that steep on these bikes. I mean, I'd give it a whirl. I just don't think I'd make it. It's always easier to give it a whirl up something real steep like that on a bike you don't own. We're well, well in the bosom of these mountains right now. Mm, and let me tell you, sitting here in this cleavage, Mother Earth is stacked. It's so, the scale of it is so hard to imagine. Down here, looking at the top of that mountain, it both looks miles away and so close, both at the same time. But I, I imagine if someone was standing up there, I wouldn't even be able to see them from here. And another wonder around every corner. <laughs> That's how, I've been near one of them fans. I know how big they are, which means them fans over there, that is very far away. Wow. How could you how could you be out here and not just just live in a constant sense of wonder on this tiny blue rock hurtling through space that we're crawling around on the top of it just ah too much it's almost too much well let me tell you something about shade tree surgeon <laughs> it's always almost too much because i've never had too much of anything and the first taste of dirt on the rubber feels good baby so much potential the beauty out here is i will say harsh it's definitely a uh, a harsh and dangerous beauty seems like you can be here enjoying it but if you put a toe out of line in an environment like this you're gonna really regret it it's like the earth just dropped this in front of me for me and only me to enjoy stop enjoying it brandon Close your eyes when you look at my landscape. You're ruining it. You're you're using it all up. What's up, man? Hard style. What's up, girl? I tall. I'm six one. Six one. Yeah. But if your mom is asking, six three. Dog height. You know. I could write a book about what I don't know, girl. I don't know what settings are on this thing. I just hopped on it. We're lucky if you're both six foot tall. You don't really got to mess with it. You can just hop on. This is where you get to ride at your own speed. <laughs> Doing it on my terms is where I get hurt. I need a nanny. You gotta give him a nice ass shot. You know? <laughs> it's a full moon tonight. Moon's over my hammy. That's what they call me in spite, the tag team. <laughs> Hire us for your next bachelorette party. Yes, sir. Don't show off because we want to finish the day. <laughs> you got it, man. <laughs> show off a little bit. <laughs> you know what? When girls are watching, sometimes it's hard to not hurt yourself. <laughs> You have to use so many cuss words. They told me not to show off. Oh my God, so many beautiful women watching. It's like asking me not to breathe. Come on, baby. Look at us go. <laughs> on top of a mountain, on top of the world. You don't get rocks in Florida. 
<laughs> rocks everywhere out here dude this is so freaking amazing i just sometimes i'm out here not sometimes i've, I've never done this and i've never been out here <laughs> just sometimes i just feel like the absolute luckiest person in the world i'm like how the hell did a scumbag like me ever get so lucky that i'm experiencing this right now how did i get so lucky because let me tell you i definitely don't deserve it what i deserve is a swift kick in the nuts not all this majesty but uh when i get something i don't deserve i don't complain about it baby i just take it i can't tell you how confident that front i've got an off-road plus but that doesn't turn off the front abs i can't tell you how confident that front abs makes me going down this hill knowing that literally going down a, a like a hard pack with really loose dirt above it on it which is just like riding on ice cubes you know it's so slick but having that front abs i know i could just haul on the brake right now and it'd be totally fine it's really wild and we come around the corner right up on them windmills we were looking at that looked so far away earlier wow it's crazy. i know a lot of people hate them like there'll be like fights in the comments about windmills but I think people get mad that they mess up nature and stuff like that. But to me, man is of nature. Therefore, everything he does is natural. And in this insane landscape, there is a certain otherworldly beauty about these, these monolithic windmills. This, they're just so mysterious looking. Uh, just sitting here in the middle of all this desert, of all this brown, these giant white things sprouting up. I don't know, man. I, I think it's pretty cool, but... That's just me. I ain't gonna fight no one about it. If you don't like it, I get why. It's like, I know what they do, but I don't wanna know what they do because just the mysteriousness of these monoliths in, existing in their solitude, spinning with no one there. I just feel like I could make up such a cool story around that. It just, uh, if you guys ever read The Gunslinger, uh, it just reminds me of the bear, of Shardak the bear existing in solitude with his, uh, with his little metal hat, with his radar dish on top of his head. Yeah. And I stopped and I tightened it down. So, I had yeah, sure. Sorry. You just wanted to haul ass, yeah, motherfucker. I like <laughs> yeah, I had to I had to fix my mirror. <laughs> Imagine we were on like a, a shuttle team. This is some sort of scientific future. And we don't think life exists anywhere. And we come to some barren planet. The air is breathable. We never expected that. And we're exploring it, documenting it. And then all of a sudden you come across these things and no explanation. Nobody knows why they're there. Just these obviously made by by a mind that that with purpose. This is not a natural form. I just think it's I think it's cool. I could go on about it forever. I could write a short story about it. It'd be fun. Did you know it was gonna be this good? I didn't. I did not. <laughs> I didn't know it was gonna be this beautiful. Fucking a man, this is cool. And a girl, queen sit. Love it. I didn't know it could be this good, Brandon. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at everybody pulling in. Beautiful, man. <laughs> It just feels good to be out here with my friends, baby. All right, I'm sure you're all wondering why I've gathered you here today, and it's to hunt the most dangerous game of all. Ooh. Man! <laughs> yeah. uh, what are you yelling about, doodle? Start running! She's a woman. She's a woman. 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 <laughs> Much more dangerous than man, let me tell you. <laughs> Okay, we must leave this majesty behind. But more awaits, I would assume. <laughs> if it gets any better than this, I don't even know what I'll do. Uh, the bartender came with us. That's how you know it's a good trip. We got a little paved section to go through, but <laughs> luckily this thing seems to love the pavement just as much as it loves the dirt. Definitely probably more loves the pavement than it loves the dirt, but that's pretty much any ADV bike that's not, <laughs> not unique to this one. What's funny about these bars, I, I love them. The Pan America I had previously did not have risers. Was mainly a road motorcycle this one has risers and taller bars and they're absolutely perfect off-road i love them standing they're just amazing but funny when i'm sitting down on the bike with these risers i definitely feel like you know riding through this storm sun's anarchy t-bars on this thing it's actually it's actually it just makes me giggle you know it's pretty funny you know what the road is pretty chopped up but on this bike with this suspension 
it's absolutely fine. If I was out here on a street bike or uh, my freaking FXR or my Goldwing or anything like that trying to do these twisties, I'd probably be having a pretty bad time because the road conditions are definitely not perfect. But on this bike with the long travel suspension, it really, I mean, it just seems like, okay, cool, man. A couple bumps in the road and the twisties, no big deal at all. I mean, that's why I like my Multistrada. That's really why I like ADV bikes in general. It's just, they're just kind of like leggy sport bikes, you know? <laughs> really leggy sport bikes, man. This thing freaking moves through the twisties. Oh, 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 this is fun, man. You don't get that elevation change in Florida. God, look at all those rocks. That seems precarious up there. I don't know. <laughs> I just, I always, you know, I've always just been like a rock slide. How could that happen? Until I look at that, I'm like, oh, okay. I understand a rock slide. Like those all come falling down. Probably old hat for all you guys who live in environments like this, but I'm from Florida. We don't have rock slides. Yeah, that could definitely be bad if those things decided to start come, come, come tumbling down, baby. Stop looking at the rocks and start riding your motorcycle. <laughs> Oh, I swear I get distracted so easily. Gosh, this is fun. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, they're giving us the whole package. I'll be honest, like, I love riding off-road, but if we had done straight dirt and I knew these roads were out here, I would have been upset. This is great. They ain't taking this easy on us either. I mean, they ain't going super fast, but he's a, uh, the, one of the tour guides up there is leading the charge and setting our pace, and he's set at a spirited level, I would say. Not too much for anybody who rides all the time to handle, I would say, but definitely not taking it easy either. Dude, that was awesome. I was like, yeah, I was saying that on camera. I was like, dude, they ain't taking it easy on no one. Like, it's not uncomfortable, but it's definitely not like, oh, let's be careful. You know what I mean? Loving it, man. <laughs> All right. They said these are beauty shots. So we got to go. They don't want us to go super fast. I don't, I just told them boys, listen up. If you're going to do something to make me look beautiful, you're going to have to try extra hard. Beauty ain't exactly the adjective that comes to mind when I think of shots I'm taking. They told me they were going to make me look beautiful. <laughs> oh, I knew it! Look at the size of that rock! Holy crap, hanging right over the highway. It's scary! Scary, but exciting! This whole thing is just scary but exciting. How much fun. Dude, Zakar, too. This tour company that, uh, or they do ADV tours, ADV training. These guys are out of this world. Just some of the best folks out. And nothing, I don't, I don't have to say nothing about anybody. I don't even have to say anything about Harley. There's no contract, no nothing, no like, hey, you have to say this. I will tell you, the guys at Zakar, absolutely class act i cannot wait i, I want to come back and do another adventure with them and I'll, I'll pay for it this time you know what i mean obviously harley flew us out here and we don't have to pay for their services harley's taking care of that but i want to come out here and pay them to take me on an adventure it sounds great i love this it's not often that you when you're from florida that you get to actually exist in a valley like we're we're surrounded by mountains we are in a valley for everybody who lives around mountains that is not cool to you guys at all you guys are like yeah cool wow I see that all the time, but I'm just like 360 degrees of mountains all the way around us. That's wild. All right, Chimney Peak Recreation Area. I'm ready. I'm ready to see more mountains up close and personal, all right? Oh my gosh. It's, it's the freedom of riding on the road and seeing these mountains off in the distance. And you know, I, I've been out here, I've been out to California, I've been around mountains before. I've, I've seen mountains like this, but from the road on a motorcycle that couldn't even get close to them. And now you just pull off to the side of the road and you go like, you know what? I'm gonna see what's on the other side. I don't even have to go around. Majestic doesn't even begin to cover it, man. As I always say, I don't I don't think I could do this permanently. I don't know if this, this dryness and this brownness is something I could exist around all the time, but man, it sure is nice to visit. I don't even see nobody else. Me and Queen sit out here on a mission, all right? <laughs> about to go out here and start a whole new life among the desert people. I hope they got snacks, because I'm starving. I couldn't do it. I was talking with Queen Sid about it, about the being out here in the country and stuff like that, and I love it. I love seeing it, but she said the same thing. 
I just, I love the city. I like the nightlife. I like the boogie. I don't think I could ever leave that behind completely. Speaking of, look at this city girl go. Out here off road, freaking Queen Sit. Used to bombing around the city streets on her freaking road glide. Out here in the dirt in the mountains. Don't let no one say you can't. <laughs> oh, now we're getting up high. Up and up and up. I can feel my eardrums popping. This is so cool. Weren't we just, weren't we just down there? <laughs> oh, baby, this is the best. I love that. Freaking just be like, we were just down there and now we're up here. God, that's so cool. No way. <laughs> it's showtime. Hell yeah, dude. That's always been my move. Fake it till you make it, dude. You walk in and act like you're famous. <laughs> it's up to them to prove you wrong. How you doing, Doodle? You looking for snakes? Perfect time for a picture, right? <laughs> Walk out the door, you see someone that you know, and they ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Oh, my gosh. Aw, Lolly. Pointing ever forward. You know, it's really amazing. Pointing ever forward. It's a metaphor, you know, for how we live our lives. Always, always pushing forward, you know? <laughs> up and up, baby. Up and up. God. It feels good to be out here on a motorcycle. I'm absolutely loving it. How can you get that far away that fast? I've I rode for 30 seconds and they look a mile away. I just, I feel like I've watched so many videos of other people doing like, you know, adventure bike stuff on trails like this, or maybe like suburban delinquent taking sport bikes up trails like this. I just, I've seen it in so many other people's videos. I feel like I'm in a video right now, but then I'm also making a video of right now. Just like the amount of, of freaking like ADV dadception happening right now is uh, truly spectacular. Gosh, this feels like you're at the top of the world. <laughs> Cue everyone being like, that's not a mountain, this is a mountain. I don't care, dude. Relative to where I'm standing, this is pretty impressive. I don't think looking at this ever get old. I won't lie to you guys, I've spent a lot of time trash talking ADV bikes. Just, I'm always just like, what? I mean, if you want to go off road, just get a dirt bike. But after spending some time with this Pan America off road on this kind of stuff, uh, like the stuff that it's actually made for, like not out there trying to shred the sugar sand in Florida, which is a bad freaking idea. Actually doing this, and so you can put luggage on it and run it on the highway in between the trails and all that stuff. Okay, uh, you know, it won't be the first thing I've talked shit about that I had to eat my words after. Afterwards, probably won't be the last time either. Can't believe I was clowning spite for his goggles. Goggles would be nice right about now. Color me excited, baby. Rub a dub dub. Thanks for the grub. Lunch felt good. It's so amazing to come out of the desert and come from just a completely different environment and, and just come up this far and all of a sudden you're went from the desert to being in the forest different animals different temperature just like it's like going to a completely different place and we only went about 15 20 miles so we got to go up about another thousand feet which ought to be fun it was in the 60s that, uh, when we broke for lunch you gotta imagine another thousand feet might drop at another few degrees freaking amazing man amazing Oh, man, you know, on the back of a motorcycle, man. I know you could get a car up here. Shit, the roads ain't been that bad. You could probably get a regular passenger car up here. But, man, seeing it from the back of a motorcycle is so, so different. Uh, right back to the road, baby. I mean, it is pretty cool to be able to just... Not that what we were doing was that intense or that crazy. It's just some fire roads. But, man, it, just going back and forth and and being just fine on those fire roads and then coming back to the road and experiencing this level of performance from the bike is pretty freaking neat. Oh my gosh. And down the mountain. Holy mackerel, this is amazing. <laughs> oh, what a road. From off-road, from those amazing views to this. I'm saying my ears are popping. We're definitely going down. Wow. 
you know, ADV bikes, they might be Swiss Army knives, but they're, they're getting a lot better, man. They're getting a lot better than they were, if this thing is any indication. This thing absolutely rips. I'm so impressed. I don't have to say this. I think part of the reason why Harley wasn't worried about inviting me, because I've been known to be a shit talker, part of the reason they wasn't worried about inviting me is they already... I've already put out a video. I already like this bike. I had one from Burt's. I already really enjoy it. But just actually getting to take it off road somewhere where it's supposed to be man, showed me that this, the Pan America, if you had reservations about it, I'll tell you this right now. This is a hell of a machine. It's a hell of a machine, man. I just, the scope, the scope of what I'm seeing right now, tremendous. Tremendous, amazing. I know I need to keep my eyes on the road because. These are some some really nice twisty switchbacks and stuff like that, but I don't wanna. I just wanna look. I wanna look at all this wonder surrounding me. Is it gonna be a wonder I don't break my neck if I don't keep my eyes on the road, though? Wow, this thing just feels like a sport bike, even with the knobbies on it. That's where suspension comes in. You guys know I don't like facts and figures and and freaking all these sheets where they tell you every little bib and bob on a bike. I don't really care for that stuff. I'm more concerned with how a bike makes me feel. But I'll tell you this, one fact that I really liked is that this thing will automatically set the sag and adjust the suspension even for somebody who weighs 300 pounds like I do. Now, if you're a big boy, you know how important suspension is. Anyone can go fast with the right suspension. Most bikes, they don't make them suspenders for big guys like us. They make them for someone who weighs about 150 pounds, if even that much. So you double that, man, the bikes just aren't set up for it. And we'll tell you that whatever gadgetry and wizardry they got going on in the suspension of this bike boy it's absolutely perfect oh, what a highway i just can't almost even believe i'm here <laughs> oh my lord <laughs> i don't think i've ever seen that far in my life unless i was in an airplane stay 35 you stay right there we come all around you and do all our fancy stuff and yes sir you got it you just look pretty you know what? I was pr I was practicing looking pretty earlier, so. Yeah, I was, I was last. Yeah. Holding everybody up. Well, I needed this light, dude. You think I'm coming out without the light being right? That's for y'all. <laughs> that's I mean, that's cute that you guys did that, but I'm fucking waiting till it's good. What an epic day. And it's not over yet. I mean, we're riding back to the compound right now, but <laughs> just even the ride back to the compound is going to be amazing. Oh my gosh. I just, it's it's been so different for me. And I'll tell you, I thought a lot of my dirt bike skills would translate, but I didn't walk in with an ego because, you know, fat, when it comes to motorcycles, uh, egos get you hurt really bad. And I'm just kind of really not the ego guy anyway. I know how bad I suck at riding motorcycles motorcycles and yes I've raced dirt bikes and been riding dirt for a while but that doesn't mean I'm good at it that just means I've done it and I will tell you if I had uh, come into this with the expectation that I was just gonna ride this bike like I ride my dirt bike I would have gotten hurt because it is totally different and I, I, the guys here at Zakar they just their instruction was par was bar none I learned more stuff about riding dirt from them speaking about it because they know how to teach it than I've learned the entire time I've been riding it it was very very cool and very very humbling as well and even though I have ridden in California I've seen just the desert turn into forest by riding up a mountain and I rode up the San Jacinto mountains and I've so I've seen that happen before but if he's seen it happen from the road this time I saw it happen from inside the forest <laughs> and that was just such a different experience going from the bottom of the mountain to the top of the mountain off-road watching it turn from desert to forest in the forest it was really really something special and something else again like I said dad jeans supreme baby I've been giving all these dads riding ADV bikes such a hard time I went on one little ADV adventure and all of a sudden ADV adventures don't even make no sense I went on one little adventure through like short as hell through these woods and all of a sudden I'm like 
Okay, I get it. I was wrong. I'm gonna eat my words. Not that I ever thought it was bad, but you know, I, you know me. You know I like to talk shit. What an experience, man. But, uh, I've never done anything like this before. I feel incredibly fortunate that I'm here. And not only have I never done anything like this before is going off road on I mean, like I said, I took one into the sugar scene in Florida, but that's really not where this thing's meant to be. What we just did, doing fire roads and something that you would camp from, that's really more what it's meant for. It's not meant for thrashing in the Florida swamps. I mean, it could do it, because I did it, but I think it's more intended purposes are what we just did through the mountains today. I don't have to say anything. I don't have to say anything nice. I don't even have to mention Harley Davidson. I don't have to say a single word about Zakar. They don't, they didn't make us do anything. And that way, and that's the only reason I came is I, I talked to the guy, this guy, Matt, who's very cool. He's the guy who facilitated everything. And I said, Hey, you know, I just don't want to, I'm just being real with you here. I don't want to do this. If I have to say anything nice, if you tell me I have to say anything, I have to say anything at all, or I'm not allowed to say something, anything at all, I'm not coming. And not because I think I'm so freaking cool or I'm so much better than anybody else, but I just, that's just not me, man. That's not how I do business. So, but he swore up and down in the email and he said, give me a call. I'll, I'll talk to you on the phone and make you feel better at this. You don't have to say anything. You're allowed to say whatever you want. So I said, okay, you know, I'm going to come out. I'm going to do the event and they meant it. And I will tell you from Harley Davidson, for them allowing this, this dirty hobo swamp wizard to fly out to California, ride around one of their bikes and cross their fingers. He doesn't make a scene. Just being like, we're taking Shade Tree Surgeon on faith right now. Please don't get us canceled. They really, if, if you've seen, been watching my channel for a long time, you know I don't hold my tongue. So I feel like they were taking a little bit of a risk, but they seem confident. They already knew I liked the bike. And it was true. They didn't make me say anything. I was allowed to say whatever I wanted. And I will tell you, I love the bike. And and when I talked to him and I said, hey, you know, you guys know my videos because they watch the videos. You know, I'm just surprised that you invited me out to this. You know my past. You know that I, I talk all sorts of shit. And they literally just said, you know what, man? We're so confident in this motorcycle. We're so confident in the Pan America that we weren't worried at all. That's a pretty ballsy move to be so confident in your product that you can get this shit bird who just talks all this smack and just like is an absolute asshole like me, just this total scumbag, invite him out here and be so confident that like, yeah, it's gonna be all right because you're not really gonna be able to say anything bad about the bike. And I can't, this bike was absolutely amazing. I haven't spent a lot of time on other ADV bikes, but man, I just spent a whole weekend with this one and I really would not mind having one. I'll say it right now. This motorcycle, the Pan America, is 100% a home run. That's gonna about do it for this video, y'all. Till next time, keep it weird.